kids hope you all are fine i'm deena and i'm back with my next video in our last video children as we have learned about simple present tense in this video we shall learn about simple past tense and we will also see few of the spelling rules for changing present tense into past tense we will learn about irregular verbs and lazy verbs also so let us start our class very quickly so here comes ginger she is going to tell us today about simple past tense past tense tells us that an action or an event has already taken place in the past for example they ran fast here the verb has changed into its past tense run let us see the second example he lived in mumbai the verb has changed its form into the past tense that is lived now we are going to learn some of the spelling rules for regular verbs for changing in simple past tense so the first rule says base form plus ed for example play when we add ed to this word it changes into its simple past tense that is played let us take one more example watch and when we add ed to this word it changes its form into simple past tense that is watched but there are few words which follow some other rules let us see our second rule the second rule says that the verbs ending in e will add only d for example close c l o s e so here we should add only d to the word to make it in the simple past tense that is closed let us take one more example like l i k e so here also we are going to add only d to the word to make it simple past tense that is liked here the third rule says that when a verb ends in a consonant and the last letter is y then the y changes into i and ed is added to that word for example study s t u d y so the last letter is y and before the last letter there is a consonant that is d so here we will change the last letter y into i and add ed to the word to make it studied which is the simple past tense of study let us take one more example over here carry here also y is the last letter and before y we have a consonant r so y will be changed into i and we shall add ed to the word to make it carried this is the past form of carry let us see the last and the fourth rule for changing simple present tense into simple past tense this rule says that some verbs which end in a single consonant and the second last letter is a vowel then the letter will double itself for example stop s t o p 
here the verb ends in a consonant p and before p we are having a vowel that is o so the last letter will double itself and it will become s t o double p then we shall add ed to the word to make it simple past tense that is stopped now let us see one more example plan p l a n here also the last letter which is a consonant it doubles itself and we will add ed to the word to make it past tense that is planned so children this was all about the spelling rules of regular verbs do you remember him yes he is shinchen he does not follow any rule similarly children there are few verbs which are very naughty and they don't follow any rule we call them irregular verbs now let us see what are irregular verbs there are certain verbs that are irregular and do not follow the rules let us see few of the examples of such verbs begin completely changes its form into began bite becomes bit can becomes could choose becomes chose drink becomes drank and eat becomes ate and the list is very long children now let us see some other type of verbs there are few lazy verbs children similarly like this cat see how lazy it is similarly there are few verbs which neither change their form nor they are naughty they don't do anything they simply stay as it is so we should also remember that there are some verbs which stay the same even though the action is completed in the past such as cost remains cost hit remains hit hurt also remains hurt let remains let and put remains put and there is a long list of such verbs now let us practice some verbs as we have already learned about some irregular verbs regular verbs and the lazy verbs let us see whether you can answer my questions or not so i am having a set of few sentences over here and you have to choose the correct verb form from the two options given over there let us see our first sentence they dash at the beach all day the two options given over here are seated and sat very good children the correct option will be sat because there is no such word as seated this is a naughty verb it has changed its form from sit to sat let us move to the other example she dash her car the two options are wash and washed good the correct option will be washed she washed her car very good children so like this only you have to keep practicing and learn 
these verbs daily. So, till here we have learnt about simple past tense and the different spelling rules of regular verbs. We have also learnt about irregular verbs and lazy verbs. Again, we are going to meet in our next video and I will tell you about simple future tense. And Ginger will also come along with me. Okay, children. Till then, bye-bye and have a nice day.